Today we're in the highlands of Peru at a site called Wadi, which was built by the Wadi civilization um, a little more than 1500 years ago, and the Wadi disappeared or collapsed about 1000 years ago. So you can see it's pretty crude construction with rough stones and clay mortar, pretty consistent style, uh, relatively primitive, much more primitive than the Inca. But then we stumble across this that was excavated. That's a basalt slab weighing between 10 and 20 tons and clearly was not done by the Wadi people. But that's not the only evidence. Again, as we walk through the main Wadi site, uh, this was the capital of the Wadi people and covers more than a thousand hectares. We see irregularities here now in the stones. You see the slabs, rough, and then cut out cubes. Very intriguing. And then we stumble across these, which appear to be irrigation pipes of, so, uh, of some kind. Notice the beautifully drilled holes, and this is in basalt stone, which is very hard, once again. So this is clearly evidence of lost ancient high technology that uh, the Wadi discovered when they found this ancient location. And here again, we walk through and we see what appear to be plumbing or irrigation pipe sections that all fitted together at one point. The actual uh, true location of these was elsewhere on the site, but they've been piled here and that allows us to observe them quite closely. So again, we have the rough work done by the Wadi people and then much more sophisticated work that clearly was done prior because the Spanish conquistadors couldn't achieve this and almost all of the ancient sites of the indigenous people were forced to be abandoned. Now here again you see the rough walls but then the beautifully cut slabs on the bottom. Two very different styles of construction. The slabs appear to have been cut with some kind of saw and then when you look at the staircase on the left you see how crude it is. So obviously the Wadi people discovered an ancient site built using some kinds of high technology in the very distant past. Again, as I said, the site is very extensive. More than a thousand hectares has been protected. The population is believed during the Wadi period to have been possibly as much as 30,000 people at this location near Ayacucho in the highlands of Peru. And now we're going to see possibly an even more obvious example of lost ancient high technology work that was then found and utilized by the Wadi people. You notice the terrain here, very mountainous. Um, not too much rain in this area. You see a lot of cactus and grass and small shrubs. And so now we're walking to a location called Chekowasi, which means the house of the hard stone in the Inca language known as Quechua, but more properly known as Runasimi. And this is the artifact that we're going to be studying much more closely. Again, notice the very rough walls made of broken stacked stone, and then these basalt slabs that had to have been cut using some kind of mechanized saw, possibly uh, this would have required diamond technology or something equivalent and such technology was only developed as far as we know in the 19th century AD. So how these ancient artifacts were cut remain a mystery but that's why we travel so extensively not only in Peru and Bolivia but other locations on the planet in order to be able to show you artifacts such as this. So now we're going to move in closer to get a better view of these cut hard basalt slabs. You can see there seems to be some kind of catastrophic damage to them. 
Uh, that may have happened during the Great Cataclysm 12,000 years ago, but that's, uh, that's just a supposition at this point. But it is very clear that this work was not done by the possibly Bronze Age Wadi people, and they wouldn't have had that many bronze tools to start with. So again, you see the very rough work and then the very refined work. And this is typical of many of the ancient locations in the highlands of Peru. Coming up in a future video is another site located relatively close by to Wadi. It's called Vilcas Waman. And it again is megalithic in origin, but then reconstruction was done by the Inca people. This stone again is basalt. And you see the incredible flat surfaces that again could not have been achieved by the Inca people who were Bronze Age people. And also another part of the location we're going to see now this is a church that prior to being a church was an Inca temple and prior to being an Inca temple it was a megalithic construction. I go into great detail about that one in the next video. Upcoming tours at hiddenincatours.com.